pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's complete. He's got Gronk. A gain of six there on first. You have to think the Bills were not sorry to see Brady leave New England, but now here he is facing him yet again for his career. Listen to these numbers. Brady, 32-3 lifetime against Buffalo. He's absolutely owned them, including 15 wins in Buffalo, which is the most of any quarterback over that time, including Bills quarterbacks. Chew on that for a minute. First and ten, here's Brady. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Again, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now Brady again. Escaping the pressure right. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Teron Johnson able to pick it. He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise, and he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open, but I think the quarterback spotted him too late, and that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And Beasley with it over the middle. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Gonna give this one to Singletary. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. And now, defensively, they're gonna burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Allen from the gun on third down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. William Goldston in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. The Bills send the punter out. A Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Again, we see Tom Brady in the box set to take over. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up, and they tend to play well. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taking down. 
What a huge play at this point in the game. Trent Murphy in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Brady to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Gavin. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. Room here to run. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. We all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. This is caught, Gronkowski. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock shows, 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. <laughs> to throw is Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Looking for his all pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski, but it'll be second and goal. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. So the ref makes a call. No touchdown there. Wipe it off the board. Now Brady. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Get it Get it wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive in total Let's eight go. plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Allen and the Bills now. Down 17-13. A little over 40 seconds to go. A touchdown could win the Super Bowl as they've got a first down. Back 
to throw. Allen rolling to his right. Allen hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Our eyes shift to the defense of the Buccaneers now. They've got the victory in sight. You, you've been in this spot before back in your playing days. How nice is it to go out there pretty much knowing this is a victory? It's beyond nice. It's what you build for each and every week that you're getting ready to play. And, and that's a tough, long week of practice. But to be able to turn it into a win and be able to enjoy it, yeah, <laughs> that's why you play. Now they'll just be looking here for one final stop in the waiting moments. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there. Second down. To throw again. Allen. This one caught by Davis. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ballgame. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And we do talk a lot about how the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. It used to be that they were linemen who occasionally caught passes. Now they're wide receivers who occasionally block people. And right here, this isn't tight end speed. It's definitely wide receiver speed. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. This is caught. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.